Good evening and welcome to our evening edition of the English News Edition. Coming up. In the energy sector, Prime Minister received the Commissioner Dr. Amani Abu Said. And on the region is Chinese Embassy in Somalia marks 68th anniversary. Those are the top stories and thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has received this Thursday in a hearing a delegation of the African Energy Commission at its head, Dr. Amani Abu Zaid, Commission of the Infrastructure and Energy. The meeting was conducted in the presence of the Secretary General of the Office of the Prime Minister, Nagib Abdullah Kamil, and the Director of the Geothermal Agency. Dr. Amani thanked the Prime Minister for his availability and explained the purpose of his visit in the country, which is before any, the threatening of the partnership with the country and the financing agreement of the geothermal project. In a response, the Prime Minister has indicated to his host that the government has defined certain priorities for the development of the country and that renewable energies are part of it. He has emphasized the determination of the government to develop this sector, the bearer of wealth and all means are deployed to advance this project of capital importance in order to acquire self sufficiency energy. Well, the Commissioner of the Infrastructure and Energy has in an interview highlighted the importance of the development of renewable energy which represents a future for the creation of wealth and development of the country. Let's listen to her. Here on behalf of the uh, Commission of the African Union uh, to, uh, to sign uh, a grant of the order of uh, about one million dollars uh, the studies uh, the initial studies for geothermal energy in one of the regions here in Djibouti. Uh, I must say as Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy at the, at the Commission of the African Union, I have been extremely encouraged uh, uh, with all the projects and the ambitions and the plans that I've seen uh, here in this country for renewable energy in general, but sp specifically for uh, geothermal energy. Um, uh, surely you know that uh, uh, we are, I mean, conscious, uh, all, all of us as Africans, of the issue uh, and the importance of energy for our countries, for the development of our uh, uh, countries, our private sector, uh, and the well-being of our population. That is why at the African Union we, uh, we, we prioritize the issue uh, and all the questions related to energy and specifically and, and more importantly the, the renewable energies. We have several initiatives uh, in, that, uh, uh, in that direction. One of them is the, uh, uh, the, the facility that we have been using here in, in, in Djibouti. Uh, so uh, now as I mentioned this grant of a uh, of million dollars we also uh, provided grants of about $90 million to 26 projects uh, across uh, the East Africa region. The region is extremely rich with uh, geothermal energy. We have a potential of almost 20,000 uh, megawatts and we really uh, are keen to work with uh, all our countries to promote this, uh, uh, this source uh, of energy but also to, to work uh, uh, with all, uh, the whole continent in, in, in promoting renewable energy in the, uh, as well. During my visit, I also had the, the honor and the pleasure of meeting His Excellency, the Prime Minister, the, the, His Excellency Minister for uh, Transport, uh, His Excellency Minister for uh, uh, Energy, and uh, as well we discussed other possibilities and other plans uh, for further, further partnership and uh, further support to your country in your ambitions and strategies. As the Commissioner mentioned, the Minister of the Equipment and Transport, Mohamed Abdul Qadir, has received this morning in his cabinet the Commission of the African Union, represented by Dr. Amani Abu Zaid, Commissioner in Charge of Infrastructure and Energy. Being present also at this meeting, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Equipment and Transport, uh, Mr. Saeed No Hassan, and the Director of Transport, Adelaide Sultan Mohamed, during this currency visit, Discussions have focused on the ways and means to further develop the cooperation between Djibouti and delegation of the Commission of the African Union, represented by Dr. Amani. It was also a question of different projects that is uh, currently conducting the Republic of Djibouti in the sector of infrastructure.
It is still in the framework of this mission to Djibouti, the Commission of the African Union responsible for infrastructure and energy has met with the Minister of Energy, Yonis Ali Gedi. The discussions were focused on the cooperation between Djibouti and the African Union for the development of the energy in Djibouti. And let's recall that the Commission of the African Union has signed a convention of donation to support Djibouti in the studies for the promotion of clean energy in the country. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, the government spokesman, Mohamed Ali Youssef, was receiving yesterday, Wednesday, Mr. Jean-Baptiste, uh, Secretary of State for, to the Ministry of Europe and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, accompanied by our ambassador in France, Ayed Moussad Yahya. This meeting allowed the two officials to make a tour of Arizona on regional and international situation. It was more focused on excellent relations that prevailed between our two countries in all fields. The two parties reiterated their commitment to for the deep in this relationship preferred and strategic. In addition, the minister has been received at the Elysee by Mr. Franck Paris, uh, advisor to the Af Africa of the President of the French Republic. Once again, the two parties have stressed the conversion of point of views on the major uh, international issues and are committed uh, to continue their privileged relations in strategic outcomes that exist between the two uh, countries. And this morning, the Minister of Health, uh, Dr. Jama Mioki, moved to Arta in the company of 100 senior uh, officials composed by all of the character, directors and uh, executives of the Department of Health uh, in order to participate in a pension of reflection on the future actions that the Department of Health intends to carry out in the next few days. On his arrival at Arta, the Minister of Health has been warmly welcomed by the Prefect of the Region, Abdullah Okiedra, and the President of the Regional Council, Ilmi Bouh, the Vice Chairperson, Mrs. Filsan Ilmi, and as well as Mr. Ali Mohammed Darar, Headmaster of the School of uh, Hospitality of Arta that has this meeting at reflection. The objective of this retirement reflection is to discuss mainly on the three points had to order in order of the day to know the impending uh, campaign of care of proximity door to door which will begin in the course of the month of October and but also of the national consultation which will be conducted on any uh, on the heart of the uh, national territory and finally the second edition of the car of the medical and surgical at national level. And in his opening remarks, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jami al Moki, recalled the expected results of this meeting or reflection. In setting out the various points uh, in the order of the day, the Minister has indicated that this approach is intended to be inclusive and participatory, involving all the key sectors of the Department of Health to the thinking around the teams in this two study. And one of the flagship themes of the Department of Health it is it, the project of door to door campaign, uh, which will uh, commence in the month of. October in the commune of Belbela. In its fourth phase, it is a, the popular district of PK-12, which will be the subject of a pilot project on a large scale. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jami al has also emphasized the importance of the national consultation in matters of health that will exchange with the civil society of all regions in, of the interior, as well as the three communes in the capital. Yesterday at the beginning of the afternoon, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jami al Moki, has received in his cabinet the Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey, Sadi Atinog, and the new main coordinator of the Turkish Agency for Cooperation and Collaboration, TICA, Mr. Mehmet Aha Dogan. During uh, this meeting, the Minister of Health and the Turkish Ambassador uh, have reviewed the various projects in relation to the field of health which are implemented by TICA to Djibouti. Referring to the various projects by his agency, the ambassador of Turkey, Sildi Atinak, confirmed, among other things, the launch of a very uh, next in the construction of a large hospital specializing in pediatrics in the coming days. For this part, the responsible for TICA has thus stated that his agency had at present present the latest updates in point of the project taking into account in particular of all the recommendations made by the Minister of Health uh, during its recent working visit to Turkey. And we must recall that this de a daring project of construction of a hospital complex exclusive dedicated to the care of children is the fruit of discussions between the First Lady of Turkey and the First Lady of the Republic of Djibouti, Khadra Mohamed Haid, in the margin of the official visit of President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, to Djibouti in January 2015.
The Minister of, of Health, Dr. Jean Mouki, has indicated uh, in an interview for this bar that the construction of this hospital of great standing, which will support the diseases of the child, represents a major turning point supplementing the health care uh, for the supply of pediatric care and which in the short term will have to induce a significant decline in the infant mortality rate in Djibouti. Finally, the minister has seized this opportunity to solemnly thank the ambassador Altinok and the main coordinator of the TICA, Mr. Mahmed, uh, for their constant efforts and their valuable support they provide in the implementation of policy of improvement of health system initiated by the head of state, Smail Mbrigili. The Minister of the Equipment and Transport, Mohamed Abdul Qadir Musa, has received in an audience today the representative resident of the World Bank in Djibouti, Mr. Atusek. Uh, the meeting took place in the presence of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Equipment and Transport, Said Nuh, and the Director of Transport, Mr. Delayta Sultan. On this specific uh, point, Mohamed Abdul Qadir Musa expressed the wish to see the World Bank deepen the relations of cooperation, and this is the achievement of the objective, uh, which is to improve the rating of performance of the logistic chain in Djibouti. In addition, it was a question of opportunities in this uh, meaning of which the Ministerial Department of the Equipment and Transport could benefit from the part of the international funder. And finally, uh, on the visit of the Minister of uh, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed to thank the World Bank for all its financial contribution in the achievement of a number of studies related to the transport sector. In continuing with the national news, the Minister of the Economy and the Va Finance, Elias Moussoudouali, accompanied by the Secretary of State for Social Affairs, Muna Osman Adin, and Secretary of State to the Youth and Spurs, has held a meeting to raise awareness for the inhabitants of areas around the Annex RPP of the District 6. Were present also the local elected representative and the representative of the administration. The objective of this awareness revolves around the ongoing construction of incubation center for entrepreneurship in order that the young Jibusans can create their own startups. The ways it means to improve sanitation and the environment and then the establishment of structure for young people were also discussed. The Secretary of State for Social Affairs has reversed that the next operation for eliminate the roads leading to the center thanks to the solar street lights. The member of the executive committee headed by Ilyas Musa Diwali, Secretary General, uh, accompanied by Hussein Idris Gulit and Gohar Mohamedou and two ministers, Muna Osman and Hassan Kamil, discussed during uh, the meeting of projects and difficulties in the neighborhoods was also referred to the environment and sanitation uh, which must be the concerns of the whole of the population. The Secretary General of the RPP, Ilyas Musidawali, has taken the floor before the activists and strongly thanked them for the welcome. He has announced that the forthcoming uh, construction of a center of entrepreneurship intended for young people in the neighborhoods who want to start in entrepreneurship, the center funded by India, will be built by a Turkish company uh, which has already begun the work, he said. He has asked the population, including women, to get involved in the preservation of the environment and the remediation of areas around the annex. 4, 6 in Angela, which are one of the most agnostic centers in Djibouti. Under the auspices of the Secretary of State for Youth and Sports, the International Federation of Association Football FIFA, in collaboration with the Federation of Djibouti of Football, had been initiated for 40 arbitrators uh, of the training sessions of Chorus MA of high level at the Hassan Gouleri Stadium. The course is conducted by the instructor of the FIFA to know Mr. Noumandier and from Côte d'Ivoire and Mr. Mohamed Hussein Ali from Djibouti. The initiative has the support of the International Federation of Association Football FIFA, uh, which has sent experts to the country. It is to be noted to motivate and give the taste of perseverance to our arbitrators are the main objective of this training. A, a lot of efforts have been made by the Federation of Djibouti Football in the field of arbitration insurance coverage uh, uh, which has been offered to the whole of the arbitrators to the reconsideration of their bonus match and the establishment of the assessors of arbitrator paid by the federation uh, the training of the arbitrators of the regions of the interior and the provision of equipment for the later the regional news now Celebrations have been held in Somalia to mark the 68th anniversary since the establishment of the People's Republic of China. It is the first time Beijing has marked the event in Somalia after it was forced to close its embassy in 1991 following the collapse of Somali's central government. Sayyid Mohammed has more to tell us. 
Chinese embassy in Somalia has yesterday marked 28th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China in Mogadishu in attendance with top government officials and diplomats. September the 26, 2017 marks the 18th anniversary of the opening of the Kenteng River Bridge to date. Mao Xingseng Science and Technology Education Foundation in collaboration with six other institutions held the International Engineering Technology Development Strategy Summit, the Seven Bridge and Tunnel Engineering Technology Forum and related commemorative events in celebration with the 80th anniversary of the Kenteng River Bridge in Hangzhou. The International Sina, Representative Adam Schiff, with the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee step up the political criticism of Facebook and other social media outlets and call for testimony about Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election uh, using their platforms. More details in this video. Three of the biggest social media giants on the planet, Google, Facebook and Twitter, have been called to testify in front of the congressional investigation into alleged Russia interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Twitter in chief Donald Trump has made Twitter into a powerful alt advertising media on his own, but say Facebook is lined up alongside with the lamestream media. The trio is expected to give public testimony from September the 1st, but as yet none have been confirmed they will attend. That's all for tonight's edition. Thanks for being with us and have a wonderful evening.